we've abraded these samples with silicon carbide, basically we sandblasted them to try to make the glass weak. And this is to simulate the type of damage that might exist in the mobile device as it's changed out. So what I'm going to ask you to do, Bill, is go ahead and take this stylus, we have the end of the stylus here, press in the center of the sample. I want you to give me a, a scale from one to five of about how hard was that for you to break? Pretty easy. Five-year-old could break that. All right. Maybe we should ask for an age for who can break it. All right. So we're going to step it up a notch to strengthen soda lime glass, and this will be similar in the fact that it's been strengthened like Gorilla Glass, but this is a different type of glass composition. Go ahead and try to break that sample. A little bit harder. Ten-year-old. All right. We're up to ten-year-olds. Here we go. All right. <laughs> So now we're going to bring in Corning Gorilla Glass. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have you do your best to read your worst. And start pushing anytime. Don't hurt yourself. Hard to break. Very difficult. <laughs> we should get one of the guys boxing over here to come over to me. But, uh, Sir, one shot. Good try, though. Good try. All right, so we're moving on. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. Through the same glass, we have 1.1 mil, 1 .1 millimeter non-strengthened soda line. Josh is going to go ahead and try to break that sample. So we're up to 30 pounds. 44 pound force on that sample. You can see it's uh, broken. So that's what a five-year-old equates to in Bill's scale. All right. Now we'll do a strengthened piece of soda lime glass. Again, this is 1.1 millimeters thick as well. So we're a little bit past the non-strengthened soda lime. And there we are at 72. So there's an enhancement with a chemical strengthening process. So that's great. But we're going to step it up to Corning Gorilla Glass 1. This is the leading product in the market today. Josh is going to go ahead and load this up as best he can. So he's on one finger. Now he's up to his hand now. 60, 70, two hands, 80. Get it up over 100. There we go. Keep going. Up there, up to 120, 123. All right, so we're way beyond what we're seeing with the other glass. That sample has not broken. And that's Corning Gorilla Glass 1. And I should also mention, that was 1.0 millimeters thick. 10% thinner than the soda line glass. So there was already a disadvantage in terms of thickness over the previous two glass samples. But we're going to go even thinner with Corning Gorilla Glass 2. We're going to use a 0.8 millimeter piece of glass. And Josh is going to go ahead and load this sample up. Same abrasion technique, same amount of damage. Taking it up over 50 pounds. Coming up to 100. Getting it up there, 110. We're up near 120, we're at the same level of performance, 127. Same level of performance as 1.0 millimeter Corning Gorilla Glass. Corning Gorilla Glass 2 at 0.8 millimeters. Same level of damage resistance, same level of retained strength. 